ever had a client take a look at the service that you just provided and say, this isn't working, I have been there. In fact, those mistakes that I made early in my career while setting up Notion for businesses almost cost me my entire business and reputation. So today I'm opening up the curtain, I'm being vulnerable, transparent, and I'm showing you the mistakes that I have made while fulfilling my services to clients while I was building their Notion systems that not only frustrated my clients, but nearly cost me the career. You want to stick around so you don't fall into the same traps that I did. Okay, F up number one, assuming that one size fits all. Early on, I made the mistake of replicating the same Notion system for every single business that I was helping. I thought that a successful structure for one business would also mean that it will be successful for another kind of business. But every business have unique needs, unique wants, unique processes, unique setups that they need, and what works for digital agencies will not work for e-commerce stores. So the lesson that I took from here is that first I have to draw the company's processes and then build the system according to those processes. Because processes come first and systems come second. Okay, second, overloading clients with features that they do not need. In the beginning, I was so excited with Notion capabilities, like all the features, all the formulas or rollups, everything that we could create. So I was just creating for the sake of creating because I'm just a nerd. So I just want to do these things. But instead of helping my clients, this only overwhelmed them. They were not like me. They are not nerds. They are just running a business. They just want their system to be built and get on with their day. They just want to run their business. That's it. And what happened back then is that clients were not using 80% of the systems that I was building for them. This hurt me a lot. But what also made is that they were not confident on their system. There was a lot of things that they didn't need. And they ended up, some of them, even not using the system at all. That really broke me. But I believe it was a necessary step for me to understand that simplicity is king. I now filter everything that gets into a Notion system. If even if the client tells me that they need something, I'm going to doubt it. I'm going to ask him, do you really need it? Why do you need it? Sell it to me. Because if not, we're not going to implement it. So now my systems look super basic, but they just work. So the takeaway for you is this one. Just focus on simplicity. Only add things that you need. Oh, and by the way, I am building now a community where we are helping business owners systemize and automate their service-based business, where they're gonna have private access to me and my team, and we are on the verge of finishing it. We have already recorded all the videos and everything. We're just building the structure. So the only way to get in is by joining the waitlist that you can find below this video in the description. You will also have access to a very exclusive launch offer. So check it out in the description. And let's continue with the video. Now, mistake number three, I was not training their team properly. Because when we are building systems, the purpose of them is to use them with a team. But if the team don't know how to use it, then it is very complicated. So what I was doing is after delivering a Notion setup, I was just telling the client, hey, there it is, you have it, that is it. I'm out. And that was a huge mistake because without proper training, they struggled a lot with using the system effectively. They even felt left out. So I learned that I am dealing with humans and humans need to learn. So now I deliver the systems even before they are built. Whenever we have a subset of the system that can be tested, I send it to the client, I teach them how to use it and they keep using it. Like this, they onboard gradually. They don't get the whole system at once and I can train them at the same time that we keep building things in the back end. And the takeaway for you, if you are building this for your business is just build little things first, learn how to use them, train your team with that, and then continue building. Don't build everything at once. Mistake number four, I was neglecting the client's long-term vision. Sometimes I focus too much on just solving the issue at hand. So for example, if Peter needed a view for seeing the upcoming task in the next uh, four and a half days, I will build that. But what was happening is that the system was not scalable. We were not building things for when I was going to get out of the project so that they could scale the system themselves. So the solutions work short term, but it didn't scale well. So now whenever I build a system, everything that I build is always taking into account that their team 
and their operations are going to scale. So from the get-go, it doesn't matter how many people, how many clients they are going to have, the system is going to scale with them. And I do this through templates or different buttons that create pages that they're gonna need in the future and everything. So systems can be future-proof. A good example of these are personal dashboards, that is a single page that every person has in the company. So it is a good idea to templatize that page. So then with a click of a button, we can duplicate that page and make it the new hires. And finally, fifth, skipping the feedback loop. As I said before, I used to just deliver the Notion system and that was it. Clean hands, I'm out, peace out. But I quickly realized that client needs evolve over time and that systems need tweaking because then real life scenarios happen and they understand that they need a different thing. So there is a lot of iteration happening. And that's normal. It is almost impossible that we just define a system, build it, and it works. Probably I was thinking too high of myself. So now I am super heavy in reading feedback as we build the Notion project with my clients. Because sometimes if I don't ask them, they're not going to tell me and they're just going to suffer silently. And another thing that I do is that, as I said before, I send them the system so they can start using as soon as possible so I can receive feedback and iterate on whatever they need. Because yes, I understood that a system, it is not one and done. It is a living creature that takes a little bit of iteration to get right. So, well, I'm very sad, quote unquote, that I made these mistakes, but also making those mistakes made me the professional that I am today. And I have learned a lot by making them. So at the end of the day, I'm very grateful. So, well, that is it for this video, guys. And as always, hasta la próxima.